We've got Griffin Canning and the Angels, Tony Gonsolin and the Dodgers, minus 170 to the Dodgers, plus 150 to the Angels. Total of nine with some juice to the under at minus 120. So, Corby, you got to play in this one. we got Griffin Canning, who literally emulates Clayton Kershaw to the T. He tries to do everything that Clayton Kershaw does. It's really – or is that Reed Detmers? It's one of those two Angels. Detmers. Oh, you know, is Detmers. it Detmers? Lifts his arms up and does the exact same thing. Uh, but uh, you got Canning, Gonsolin. Gonsolin's – been up and down so this one was a tough spot for me what do you got here angels dodgers yeah i uh i am one of the bigger tony gonsolin fans relative to market that there is uh it seems like for the last probably three years at this point i bet on tony gonsolin basically every single time he pitches and i've tried i've added manual weights to a lot of teams like if i feel like my numbers are just too heavy on a team or a player in specific i Add weights. Uh, Tony Gonsolin is one that, like, I go through my numbers, I look at everything, and I, I just I agree with my number. I think that the market thinks that he is worse than he is. His fastball, as good as can be, he has a 214 expected batting average, a 156 batting average on the year so far. His splitter is, is the thing that really kind of sets him apart from everybody else. His splitter right now is a 169 batting average. Uh, it's a 263 expected batting average, but if you look year over year, it is one of the more disgusting pitches in baseball. I had a, a minus 16 run value last year. So uh, a 187 expected batting average over the course of a season for his splitter. I think his stuff plays really well. Also, uh, you're fading an Angels team that notably is in a very bad spot. Uh, they are without Trout. They're without Rendon. Otani, I think, should sit out the next two games. Willie, no. Uh, but he doesn't look the same. Like I know it's a blister in your throwing hand, so it's not really a batting situation. But if you watch him bat... The other day, he went 0 for 4 and wasn't really taking competitive swings. So I think he should sit. He's not going to. It's Shohei Otani. He, he pitches and bats the same day. Like, you're not going to make this guy sit. But I don't think that he is what he typically is. So I think you're getting a Dodgers team who can, by all means, hit Griffin Canning. I don't like Griffin Canning at all. For that reason, I'm taking the Dodgers' first five run line, minus 120. I think you can get a 115 now. Uh, locked in an hour ago is 120. So by all means, grab the better number. But for the sake of the show, I got a 120. I have a weighted OPS of 542 for Gonsolin, 662 for Griffin Canning. And I want to uh, address Fezzik's comment because it's exactly right. It's 100% right. He's talking about the double results, comparing it to these big favorites on the first five run line. Because the first five is what you need. It's the foundation for the double result. He says if you are getting 30 or more cents, play the double result. If you're getting under 25 cents, pay the extra for the first five. That's exactly right how my mind works when I do this as well. And what he's saying is, so for example, today the Yankees minus 0.5 in the first five on the run line is minus 115, but the double result is plus 130. So I'm getting 45 cents. And I'm also backing the lowest ERA of any bullpen in all of baseball. So I love that value. Uh, same with the Diamondbacks. The run line in the first five was sitting at minus 135. The double results plus 115. So we're getting 50 cents. Now, if this was if it was run line in the first five at minus 110 and the double result was even money, I'm just going to take the run line in the first five and eat the 10 cents because it's not worth it. Fezzik's exactly right, and that's sort of the uh, principles we've been using for the double result to get that extra value. And Base Winner explained how it uh, pays out at 54%. And as always, if it comes out at plus money, you're making money. You know what I mean? And so um, it's a good way to appreciate it, and it's a good way uh, to explain it. So thank you to Fezzik. For that, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our, for the purposes of this show, we are locking in Dodgers, first five, minus 0.5 at minus 120, back in Gonsolin over Griffin Canning there.